What is up guys, my name is Jason Schmaltz and I'm an AMGA Rock Guide Apprentice. And today I'm gonna to show you everything I'm gonna use for my overnight Alpine bag for when I do the Grand Traverse this summer. Uh, I partially wanted to share this gear list with you just in case you had your eye on any Alpine objectives, whether they be a one-day objective or multi-day objective. But then I also wanted to try to get some feedback from you guys. Uh, I'm mostly a rock climber. Alpine's a little bit different. So if you see something that might be deficient in my kit or where I might have too much stuff, would love your input. So for starters, I'll start with the outfit I'll be wearing during the day, which will be this Florence Marine X uh, guide hoodie. It's called a crossover hoodie, I think. The reason it's called that is because when you put the hood over, uh, this part kind of crosses and you can kind of like cinch it as much as you want uh, to keep the sun or the wind or the heat in or heat out uh, while, you're, while you're climbing. And then I'm wearing the La Sportiva Talus pants. I'm gonna go with red, red and blue. Uh, just so that hopefully in the pictures uh, I'll pop out a little bit more uh, in front of the gray rock than if I was wearing like black and gray. Uh, as far as uh, layers for outside climbing when it gets cold or when it gets wet, I'm going to wear the, this Heli Hansen down jacket. It's uh, 750 gray down. And then I'll have this Florence uh, Marine X hard shell that'll go over top of that. I do have lighter hard shells in this, but for Alpine, I wanted something a little bit more robust uh, that would be able to stand up to the tough conditions. Uh, this is a pretty good balance. I think this is like 12 or 14 ounces or something, and it's got a lot of ways to cinch the hood and stuff like that. One thing I like about the outerwear that I'm choosing is that uh, it has really big hoods that'll fit over my helmet. So let me show you how that looks. So you can see that this layering system all fits over itself really nice. And then the hoods are really big so they can go over a climbing helmet like this. And then this is the look if it's really cold outside or raining. The next thing is for my sleep system, we do plan to sleep on the mountain uh, probably at the lower saddle, uh, trying to split the traverse kind of into two halves. I plan to use the uh, Enlighten equipment uh, down quilt. I have a 20 degree down quilt. Uh, these are a lot lighter than sleeping bags. So I think this is like a pound and a quarter or something like that. And then I'm gonna use an inflatable mattress. Uh, I've always used the Climate Static V. I'd uh, be interested if anybody has any negative feedback for using these type of mattresses an alpine environment. I do have the accordion style pads as well. Let me know your experience if you've ever done alpine bivy. I'd be curious to know which you like better. And then for my shelter, I'm gonna use this Outdoor Research Helium Bivy. Uh, it's super lightweight. I think it's like maybe a little over a pound and you don't have to have a big footprint. You don't have to worry about like uh, nailing anything down or staking anything down uh, in the wind or anything like that. So it seemed like it'd be a good fit. Okay, now for the kit, uh, I'm gonna go with a light kit. I'm gonna go with one full set of cams from 0.3 to two, and then a supplemental second set of cams from 0.4 to one. So I'll have doubles in those. And then I have uh, six Alpine draws that I can use on the different pitches, and then one set of nuts. Uh, I, I'm planning to place pretty sparsely on this route. I don't think the climbing is going to be as much of a challenge for me as the endurance, altitude, and route finding will be. So uh, we do have a decent amount of protection, but trying to save some weight there. And then for my guide kit, I plan to have my standard five lockers. So I go with the Petzl attaches for four of them, and then the one SMD or SMD locker. This is a triple point locker uh, that I'll use for um, third hands and things like that. I'll have my Prusix, an ATC, a Nano Traction. I will bring a Beal Escaper. Uh, this is definitely on the hit list to not bring. We will have two ropes, so I'm not sure if this is going to be necessary to bring, but anyway, I have it for now. Some belay gloves, Petzl belay gloves that I might climb in as well, depending on the temperature. I have roughly six non-lockers, a uh, mixture between black diamond mini hot wires and Camp Nano 22s. 
I will have a triple length sling from Petzl and a cordelette. I think this is uh, 18 uh, feet, so six meters, uh, seven millimeter, I believe. Uh, one thing that I will have that's not here is 220 centimeter slings, nylon, and then the Petzl Connect Adjust uh, for a personal anchor system when needed uh, with its own dedicated uh, small D locking carabiner. For climbing, we plan to use two Petzl Volta uh, climbing ropes. Uh, these are 9.2 ropes. They're currently six meters in or 60 meters in length, and we plan to cut them to 45 meters in length before the trip. I heard there's a little bit of a debate around the mountain on what length is the right length, but anyway, that's what we're gonna go with. And we have this orange one and blue one, so we'll be able to tell them apart. Even though we're doing the traverse in late August, there might be some ice patches, so I am gonna bring an ice ax uh, for any ice or small snow fields that we have to cross. This is the Petzl Sumtech ice ax. And then I have the Petzl Irvis hybrid crampons, uh, which we have to fix the back of this. We have the uh, backing that goes to just regular approach shoes. Um, but these will be used for any ice patches that we have to cross. I also am using the Sirocco, the Petzl Sirocco helmet and the Petzl Sita harness. This is definitely not the most comfortable harness in the world, but it is light and compact, and that's kind of what we're going for on this trip. Uh, I'm not planning on sitting in a harness for very long in this trip. There are two items that I have here that I won't take on the Traverse, but I am taking on my trip. So we are going to do for a warm up the Owen Spalding route, and the upper Exum route. Uh, so we'll do more, uh, I'll use the term traditional camping on that part of the trip. So I have a Dan Durston X-Mid Pro 2P, uh, which is an awesome tarp tent. I think it's like 18 ounce, ounces or so. I've used it for many, many years. I just got a new one last year. Uh, so uh, really good tarp tent, check that out. And then for the approach, I'll be using these O-Life Beamwalk T3 trekking poles. Uh, I don't normally use trekking poles uh, in alpine climbing, but I will for an approach to a base camp, uh, especially with the Dan Durston tarp tent. And the cool thing about these is they have this feature where you can uh, turn on these lights, uh, both that helps for walking in the dark, but then I kind of like to use it in the tent uh, because it lights up the tent and I don't have to have my headlamp in the tent uh, blasting my eyes out. Uh, this light's a little bit dimmer and it kind of disperses on the tent wall. So that's kind of helpful. Lastly, the thing that this will all go in is this Mountain Hardware Alpine Light 35 liter uh, backpack. I have other backpacks for multi-pitch climbing, but I wanted to get something a little bit more robust for alpine climbing. It's got a few more pockets and features on the outside. Uh, for food, uh, my friends and I are debating bringing this MSR, uh, I forget what the name of this stove, but it's a really good stove, boils a lot of water quickly, uh, would be great for three people. Uh, we're thinking about splitting it between us. Be interested in anybody's take on bringing a bigger stove on this trip. It's a little heavy, so I'm like kind of like, well, maybe I'll just eat cliff bars all night or something like that. So let me know what you think there. Okay, so let's pack all this stuff up and see if it all fits in my backpack. Okay, so you can see this backpack looks pretty nice and snug. Definitely feel like the kit is an appropriate weight. I was able to fit the full set of trad gear and also the stove into this backpack. Those will obviously be split between me and two other people, so I'll have some extra room. I will be bringing a, a two liter kind of squishable thing of water uh, for drinking, and then obviously some food for the trip, which will be mostly snacks. May bring a mountain house, obviously, if we bring our stove. So, hey, if you liked any of the brands that I highlighted in this video, please check out in the description the links to their website. I also put promo codes for the Olife Beamwalk T3 trekking poles, which is Jason10. 
So my name, Jason, and then the number 10. And then for any Florence Marine X equipment, be sure to check out their website and use the promo code SSE20. You can get 20% off anything on their website there. These are the affiliates that help support my work and my channel. So if you're in the market for any of that equipment, be sure to check out their website. You help them out, they help me out, and I can make more cool videos. Hey, I hope you like checking out my overnight Alpine kit. If you have any pointers or questions about the kit, uh, please leave those in the comments. I'll try to get to them and look forward to seeing you out on the crag or maybe I'll see you out west this summer.